Today I'm launching my beginner course called iOS Dev Launchpad. Now, I wanted my beginner course to be different, right? Because I know there's a lot of beginner courses out there. And of course, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do the basics of the Swift language. We're gonna learn all about Xcode. We're gonna build a couple beginner apps. Like, of course, we're going to do that. But my idea or my goal, my mindset, whatever you wanna call it uh, for this course was to be, like, imagine if you had a really good friend who was a, an experienced iOS developer and you went up to them and you were like, hey friend, I wanna be an iOS developer too. Can you teach me? Can you show me the ropes? So when I built this course, I built it through that lens and that's why, yeah, again, of course, we're gonna do the code, build the apps, of course, but we're also gonna talk about like the world of iOS development. And that includes things like the various career paths you can take, the pros and cons of each, things like what are third-party libraries? Like what is version control? How do apps even work with like the server and the client and like what is an API? We're also talking about how to network as a developer. What are blogs you should be following? What are recommended podcasts, recommended books? Because I know what it's like to start something like this. You're just a ball of excitement and enthusiasm. And my goal with this course is to point that enthusiasm rocket in the right direction so that your journey is a lot smoother, right? Give you a great foundation, point you in the right direction, and you're good to go. So that's the overall idea for the course. Now let's talk about some details in what you're gonna be learning. First of all, who is this course for? I built this course in mind for the absolute beginner. Like we start from the beginning, you know, how to download Xcode. This is what a variable is. This is what the Swift language even is. Like we, we start from the very beginning. That being said, if you're still early in your journey, like there's almost 60 videos in this course. So I'm confident that even if you're past that absolute beginner, but you're still early, I'm confident you'll still get value from this course. But again, I designed it so that you could easily pass this off as somebody's very first steps into this world, right? Again, like you have a friend that says, hey, I wanna learn that too. Like this is the content you give them. And because this is meant for absolute beginners or those that are very early in their journey, I keep things at a high level. Um, this course is all about just exposing you to this world and building that foundation because this is the first step among many. But also because, again, I remember what that was like. I, this is how I learned by doing online courses, YouTube videos. This is how I started my career. So I remember being completely overwhelmed. So there's a lot of topics that I could have gone deeper into and given you a ton of information. But what I'm trying to do with this course is walk a fine line between giving you enough information but not giving you too much to where you're overwhelmed or it's confusing, uh, you know, and you just, you just kind of give up, right? So I'm trying to walk that balance. So I know some of you may say, oh, I wish you would have went deeper in that, or maybe in some topics I go too deep for you. But just know that, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to walk that balance because I know what it's like to be overwhelmed. And sometimes getting all the information is more confusing than helpful. Because like I said, this is step one on a long journey for you. Most people that start from scratch to get hired as a professional iOS developer, it can take anywhere from six months to two years and, and everything in between. So don't think that you're gonna take this course and be ready. Like that's, this is not how it works, right? This is a long journey, at least six months of hardcore learning, likely even longer. So I just wanna set those expectations. Another thing I wanted to be sure to include with this course is good service. So I've created a Slack channel that's for all my courses, right? But each course has their own individual room, but this is a Slack channel that you can join and go in and get real time help, not only from me, but from other students. Like I said, that Slack channel is for all my courses. So you're, you're not just gonna get beginner developers in there, you're gonna get more experienced developers in there as well. And what I've seen so far is that people have been very helpful in that Slack channel. And I'm very thankful for that because as you know, thousands of students come into these courses, I, I just can't answer everybody's questions. So uh, we're trying to build a good community to help each other out in that Slack channel. So be sure to join that. So let's finish up going over the structure of the course. So for about the first, 40 to 50% of it, we're gonna be going over the basics of the Swift language. Then we move on into building a couple of, you know, basic beginner apps. We're also gonna break down one of these apps where we build it the first time using Storyboard and Interface Builder. And the second time, we're gonna build it all programmatic UI. So you get a little taste of both. And I also have a little Swift UI preview section talking about what it is, why this is a very different way of doing things, and then we build like a little sample screen with it. But the reason this whole course doesn't focus on Swift UI is because, you know, it was just announced in summer of 2019. It's still very early. It's gonna take a long time for, you know, major apps to adopt it. Uh, it will have its day, but it's still very early. So again, if you're trying to get a job in the next six months to two years, UI kit is still gonna be very, very dominant. But we give you a little taste of Swift UI here. 
And then we move on to kind of like the general programming knowledge section, talking about, you know, how apps work, the, the server, the client, what is an API, what are third party libraries, how does version control work, we talk about different career paths. And then I start uh, recommending some resources, again, podcasts, blogs, websites, videos, books. Again, I want to set you up for future learning because this is the very first step uh, in your journey. So that's the overall structure of the course. I really think it's going to be valuable for those that are just starting out on their journey. And the pre-sale starts today, March 19th, and will run through April 4th. So that'll give you 25% off the price. So the normal price will be $39. Uh, the pre-sale price will be $29. So if you buy from now until April 4th, you'll get that pre-sale price. I'm expecting to launch the course by March 31st. So the full course will be available by then. So that wraps up the overview video. Let's get started.